What's up everybody, it's Stas here, welcome back to another video. As you guys read in the title of this video, I just wanted to go over how I made $350 profit today trading Gush, and also why I trade inverse ETFs, why I see a lot of value in them, and I just wanted to break them down for you very quickly and very simply on this particular video so you guys can better understand if you're beginners in the stock market, if you're looking to swing trade, if you're looking to day trade, so you can pretty much understand what I do personally, and uh, maybe you can find value in it for yourself. So let's hop right into the topic of this video today, guys. I made $350 profit trading Gush like I like I mentioned earlier in the video, and I want to talk about this particular pattern that I've been seeing on Gush. And this is one that I've traded a bunch in the past. I've traded it last week for about 400 profit, the week before for about 350 to 400 profit as well. And it's the ascending uptrend pattern that we've been talking about that we've been calling out on my channel. And we see that here, guys. We can see that it's creating higher highs and higher lows. We see that it's up here at $22.40. The next high is at about $24. Then it acts as a resistance, right? $24, $24, then it breaks above that high at $24.85 roughly, and then it acted as a resistance again, right? And then it broke above that, and now it's almost at $26. And we see that Gush is actually up 15% today. It's up $3.37, which is absolutely unreal. So let's just talk about quickly how I made $350 trading this particular ETF. So this is one, like I said, I've traded a bunch in the past. And this particular time around, I got in at about $23.08 for 180 shares. And if we go closer here to the 20-day chart, I can show you guys a little bit closer where I got in and where I sold actually all my 180 shares. So I got in at $23.08 and I wrote it up to $25 actually. I sold at $25. Some people may think this is a little bit early because like I said, it is on an ascending uptrend pattern. This was acting as a resistance, but if it did continue on that particular pattern that it's on, which it ended up doing, it did have potential to break above that and form newer highs, which is actually doing right now. It's on almost at $26, but I was able to sell all 180 shares at $25. And, uh, you know, I took $350 profit at 7.8%, around 8% uh, profit for, for a two-day swing trade, which is, which is very, very good in my opinion. And my, my goal with this particular, you know, trading philosophy that I have is to just continue growing my account weekly guys i'm not looking to make the most profit i'm not looking to be greedy obviously i'm going to take profits when i feel comfortable and i'm preaching consistency on this particular channel and in my life guys because if you're not consistent if you're not taking profits where you feel comfortable you're going to end up losing money or you're going to end up uh you know leaving money on the board from profits and uh you know, that's not a really, really good feeling to have. And that's going to be something that, you know, could steer your self-confidence away and make you not want to do this whole trading thing, you know, full time if that's your if that's your ultimate goal. So that's where I got in on Gush and that's where I exited. That's where I made my profits. And I actually ended up taking a position on Drip as well as Gush broke above $25. I actually bought about $2,200 worth of Drip at $11. I bought in a little bit early. I bought in about 20 to 30% of my goal position on uh, you know, this particular ETF. And like I mentioned a bunch on my channel, I don't like to go in 100% on a particular position right away. I usually like to ease into it, maybe add about 20 to 30% in that first and see how the price moves, see how, you know, the price action works and then maybe add in another 20 to 30% and then maybe another 20 to 30%. That's how I personally like to do it because it's a great way to mitigate your risk. And now, you know, I got in at $11, like I said, and I plan on adding more as it bottoms off and starts to, you know, reverse and form that uptrend pattern that we're looking to see and these two ETFs trade based upon this particular index right here SPS IOP S&P oil and gas exploration if we go to the 180 day analysis here we see that this one's extremely overextended it's creating that higher low action the same thing as gush because this is literally the same chart as gush gush goes up when this goes up and drip goes up when this one goes down and in my personal opinion based off of my technical analysis of the particular chart I see this one has having a pullback either tomorrow, uh, pre-market hours or tomorrow or, you know, Thursday or Friday. So I see value in drip over the next couple of days as a swing trade, as it does have potential. You know, if we look closer at this chart, let's say you got in at about $11.20. Let's say you waited for it to confirm that uptrend, $11.20 up to $12 and, you know, 50 cents. 
is where is where the next resistance is. That's about 10% potential for profit and with like $5,000, that's a $500 profit. So to quickly talk about why I see a ton of value in inverse ETFs and why I personally trade them, it's pretty simple guys. It's because you can profit on both ways of how the inverse ETFs are moving. So like I said today, Gush was up 15%. So let's say you had $1,000, you bought with however many shares of Gush and you made 15% on your money. That means that Drip is down 15%, which opens up potential for profit for Drip. So as you take your profits from Gush, you can put them into Drip and profit as Drip recovers and, and you know Gush pulls back. That's the beauty of it. And you can do this with any ETFs as you study the charts, as you understand you know how they move and how all the technicals work, you can do this yourself. So what I personally do is I trade, you know, I trade the inverse ETFs. I, I, you know, I profit on the way up and whenever one's overextended, overbought, in my personal opinion, I buy into the other one and profit as it recovers. So that's pretty much what I do every single week in the, in the stock market is, you know, trade these inverse ETFs. And I've actually haven't been buying stocks recently. I've actually only been owning these inverse ETFs in my particular portfolio, my personal portfolio, and it's been working for me, guys. But whenever stocks open up as good buys, in my personal opinion, I'll make sure to let you guys know and I'll talk about it on this particular channel. And you know, uh, I'm just loving how things are going right now, guys. And my YouTube channel is going good. My my stock market investing, my my trading is becoming more consistent, and I'm documenting it on this particular channel, which I hope you guys are enjoying. And you know, hope you guys enjoy this particular video. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram if you like to see my profits. I post them on my stories every time I make profits in the stock market, so you guys can see them. If you're interested, link down below in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Found some value in the video today. Let's make some money. Peace.